Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 109. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Nitwisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. The scientists have discovered that Milky Way is having two components, the disk and spherical. What may be the central object of Milky Way? So the central uh, area of Milky Way is known as the galactic center. The galactic center is the rotational center of the Milky Way. There is a supermassive black hole of 4.1 plus minus 0.034 million solar masses at the galactic center which powers the Sagittarius A star radio source. The Magellanic clouds are visible from so Magellanic clouds are dwarf galaxies which we can see they are two irregular dwarf galaxies visible from the southern hemisphere. They are members of the local group and are orbiting the Milky Way galaxy. The planetoids are located between which among the following. So they are located between Mars and Jupiter as you can see. They are basically asteroids, uh, asteroids in the asteroid belt. So what are asteroids? Asteroids are also called inner solar system. They are minor planets which are neither categorized as a planet or a comet. They are in direct orbit around the sun. They primarily remain on the circumstellar disk of gas around new stars and also the debris of the disk together. They are also known as planetoids and range in size from hundreds of miles to few feet. Most of them are irregular in shape. In our solar system, they are majorly found bet between Mars and Jupiter in the area known as the asteroid belt as you can see in the picture. The only planet that shows phases is Venus. So through a small telescope, it is possible to see Venus undergo phases just like the moon. This occurs because from our point of view on Earth, we see only the parts of Venus that are illuminated by sunlight at any given time. However, unlike the moon, though Venus is usually brighter to our view in its crescent phase than in its full phase. Which among the following is the brightest star? The correct answer is Sirius. The brightest star in the sky is Sirius, also known as the dog star or more officially Alpha Canis Majoris for its position in the constellation Canis Major. Sirius is a binary star dominated by a luminous main sequence star, which is the Sirius A. Which among the following two gases contribute to the beginning of formation of stars? The correct answer is hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen fusion, that is nuclear fusion of four protons to form helium-4 nucleus, is the dominant process that generates energy in the course of main sequence stars. It is also called hydrogen burning, which should not be confused with the chemical combustion of hydrogen in an oxidizing atmosphere. This burning is strictly nuclear. Apart from Saturn, which of the following possess planetary ring system of their own? The correct answer are Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. So all these three. So four of the eight planets in the solar system have rings. These four planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Saturn, which has by far the largest ring system, was known to have rings for a long time. It was not until the 1970s that rings were discovered around other planets. Other way are produced by the collision of charged particles from Earth's magnetosphere which arise due to what? The correct answer is solar wind. Aurora was also known as polar lights which are northern lights are known as Aurora Borealis and southern lights are known as Aurora Australis. It is a natural display of lights in the sky in Arctic and Antarctic region. It is caused when streams of charged particles from sun collide with particles from gas like oxygen and nitrogen present in the atmosphere of the earth. Thus the solar wind disturbs the earth's magnetosphere leading the charged particles in both solar wind and magnetospheric plasma. Primarily electrons and protons to precipitate in the upper atmosphere. 
It is the resulting excitation and ionization of atmospheric constituents that light of varying colors and complexity is emitted. So this is uh, the cause when streams of charged particles from sun collide with particles from gases like oxygen and nitrogen. So it's better to note this down. These are small things which you can remember. What name has been given to the places around and between to gravitationally bound bodies where a third object could stay stationary relative to the other two? Uh, this is a point where interaction of gravitational forces creates a equilibrium. And this point is called Lagrange point. Lagrange point is positioned in space where combined gravitational forces of two large bodies such as Earth and Sun or Earth and Moon equal centrifugal force felt by a much smaller third body. The interaction of these forces creates point of equilibrium where spacecraft may be parked to make observation. These points are named after Joseph Louis Lagrange, an 18th century mathematician. There are five such points between Earth and Sun, namely L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. In these orbits, the satellite requires very little energy to maintain its orbit and it will not be eclipsed from the Sun. What is the approximate diameter of Milky Way? The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, 1 million to 1.2 million light years in diameter containing 200 to 400 billion stars. So the correct answer is 1 million light years. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.